is kayak integration this Hey, hey, uh, GM everyone. I- I'm Salman and welcome to Salman Needs a Job. I'm here at uh, ETH India uh, with uh, Keith, uh, represent Devfolio and a Web3 marketing agency called Crowd. Uh, I previously know Keith uh, from uh, his contributions to Layer3, uh, uh, an amazing project. Uh, and I know that he has, uh, in the last many months, come a long way in his Web3 journey and want to talk about that. Quick context, this fascinating art you're seeing here is uh, by a space kayak, uh, which we discuss extensively in another episode. Uh, so far, how are you doing, bro? I'm doing good, man. How are you? How have you liked ETH India so far? Dude, it's amazing. I mean, finally, I got access, so that's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, even otherwise, it's very clear that uh, how amazing it is. And even the people I'm, that I'm oh, speaking yeah. to, totally pumped. People are very, very pumped. 100%, 100%. What's your vibe like? My vibe has been just hustling, man. I've, I came here on Thursday and I haven't left this place. So... <laughs> I've been sleeping here, I've been working like nights and days, so yeah, it's a, it's been a pretty hectic experience, but a really good one. So so how are you involved with Devfolio, by the way? Devfolio, surprisingly, I um, remember working with someone from Devfolio for an NFT project, oh. and uh, I started off by like doing memes for them, and then kind of they got me to do memes for, and content for um, Eternals, which happened in May, and they liked my work, we went on to kind of help them crowd went all to help them out with unfold and um, and yeah and eth india i was in bangalore and the team is a friend and then i was like yeah why not like help them out like create this insane event and make it happen right so memes are your thing is it like do you, do you i think you have contributed to many communities and you engage people through memes is that something you do that was how i started out uh, through memes and community management and that was when we kind of saw that when i started my role as a community lead at layer 3 um saw that the a lot of people want to do community management especially in web 3 um and there's a lot of volume flowing in but the quality wasn't really there right so um we kind of put together a small team uh, who have been doing community management uh, content for web 2 web 3 companies for like past 2 3 years we said okay let's like help out these founders uh crack the community uh we are an anti bot kind of um project we don't promote like there are agencies that do like get you like 5000 bots zero engagement um we heavily concentrate on building a really good community and i think defolio is a very plays a very big factor in that because defolio as everybody knows is um one of the best if not the best community of developers in india and globally so so yeah that's what we kind of taken our in crowd as well ki we want to make it 100% organic and and yeah that's that's a thing i remember the last time we spoke many months ago you were also studying in uh, manipal so what's the scene like right now oh yeah so um surprisingly and luckily i guess it's been going decent enough where um i've been meeting a lot of people a lot of interesting people as yourself and um the work has become uh really good and i thought that why not just double down on this focus on one thing focus on growing this um and so, to do so that you kind of took a, i haven't dropped out yet i haven't dropped out yet but so, a break. yeah i have taken a break for a year um but hopefully i don't have to go back <laughs> sounds good sounds good so like where did your skills in community management come from how did you like how did you explore start exploring this space So I was in the marketing field for some time. I used to run a few e-commerce stores like when the- was that time? How old are you bro? I'm 19. So I when I was like 16. When was <laughs> So when I was 16 I started like dabbling into e-commerce, uh, did a bunch of marketing then. Um all web to obviously. And um and at the end of last year was when I kind of got approached by Layer 3 for their community position and this was an unheard of position before. and uh, basically never done any community stuff before but since i had some marketing experience um they were really kind enough to bring me on and i basically learned 100% of uh, everything i know in community through layer 3 um and just like building a bunch of communities in web3 um helping them out with stuff Yeah that's, that's Dude Layer 3 you were doing an amazing job I remember that I remember when I met you as well I recognized Keith yeah, yeah. because you guys were really killing it even later I saw the community so much going on like even you run AMS too inside the discord Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was actually very interesting Yeah did those AMS, uh, like tell me some of these tactics that you used in Layer 3 
so as i said like we want to 100% focus on like organic kind of engagement so we had a bunch of contributors at layer 3 um who used to contribute to open source projects uh daos multiple like dune dashboards and we thought like why not so one rule in community is that we need to empower our community i know this is a cliched word but we need to empower our community as much as possible kind of put them in the spotlight so that they know that they are being valued inside the community this is something that defoli also does with their builders so what we thought that why not take these top 10 contributors i thought that why not take these top 10 contributors and kind of teach the rest of the community that want to contribute on how do they contribute like Damn. let's say if they are a dune dashboard contributor um let's kind of talk to them about how what's their workflow like how do they get started with dune dashboards and there was this insane contributor who made i, I this was one of the pers- uh, people i had interviewed uh, for the ama and i think he recently published an um uh, a twitter thread on how he made like $20000 from um from doing yeah dune, dune dashboards layer 3 itself and i hope to believe um that that inspired a bunch of other people to start with dune dashboards so contributing so ms were with other contributors on the platform with other contributors uh hey uh, i hope you're enjoying the content uh, out of uh, uh it india out of india blockchain week uh, just a quick uh, commercial break i have a juice box campaign that i have up uh, where you can support me by uh, contributing yeah just uh, contributing to make uh, to help me keep my lights on as i continue to do this if you like the the content that you're seeing on this channel if you like the work i'm doing consider supporting quick background for people listening and don't have context what is layer 3 Oh no, high level is a growth tool for um um defi protocols daos to kind of get quality contributors because let's say you started dao um you the most of the contributors would be low level they would let's say do a simple bounty and then just like buzz off right they won't care for the community they won't care for the product so what we kind of did at layer 3 was getting these quality contributors in and to get those quality contributors we kind of created a co- community of the highest quality contributors um and any yeah, other just commu- they we it's layer 3 is basically um a marketplace of a bunch of bounties of a bunch of um contributions that you can do to other daos and people can go on the marketplace they can pick what um bounty they want to do what uh, kind of contribution they want to do and yeah just go out with that I find it interesting that you call it a growth tool. I would have thought it like a contributor engagement tool or something like that. So, growth tool as in it helps the um DAOs that participate grow. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So, all the DAOs that Layer 3 had partnered with, we kind of got them I I believe like we had a lot of feedback that they got their highest quality contributors from these DAOs. Oh, uh, sorry, from Layer 3. because uh, let's say even if these protocols had contributors as i said low level they would take the money and then like this go but we gave them growth in terms of the quality of contributions they received so so yeah that's that's how we kind of look at it as a growth tool now uh, tell me about some of the work that you do with crowd uh, what kind of people you work with and what's your play, playbook like yeah so we have worked with everyone in where in web3 from nft projects to dao tooling platforms to c5 protocols d5 protocols daos like all across the board and in our experience with working with all of these projects we kind of have built a playbook for each of them so let's say if you're working with a dao this is the kind of content playbook you follow the community playbook you follow and how you can get growth as i said in the most organic and the most quality um method as possible you don't want to trust me i know if um all of you all if if you all run a defi protocol or a dao i know you all get like you all might get 10000 contributors but i'm sure you all know the quality is in there so yeah that's 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 kind of what we so in terms of like one like super super tip for anybody who's listening mm-hmm. trying to build a community trying to engage a dao like what what, what do you have from what do you already do um so number one is so I know this is cliche also but you need to first build your audience I know this is very web2 but trust me building your audience on Twitter 
I'd say Twitter is the best platform to do so. Um, just engage them well, build a really tight knit community around that, and then only and only then should you move to a secondary platform like Telegram or Discord. Because if you don't have that um, initial traction from people, initial uh, initial interest from interest. people yeah initial interest from people no one is going to join your community no one is going to start engaging if they don't like the product or if they're not interested in the product at all one there's mis- nothing there if you don't like, for people to come to a discord and 100% everything. 100% I mean let's say if you just start a product start your twitter start your discord people would either join it to maybe win a bounty and which trust me they're going to go after they win that bounty um, but if you want the highest quality folks in your community you need to build that initial traction on Twitter and then and only then you should move to Discord because after that they would um, relate with your team they would relate with your product um, and um, also one important thing is that every community should focus on the founders and the core team to be super involved with what happens in the community because as I said previously mentioned that the community needs 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 to feel valued um, otherwise, it will just go to another Discord, another community. Because I'm sure if you all are in Web3 communities, you all have like hundreds of dis- like servers lined up on the left. Uh, you don't want your priority as a community is to be on the top five. You don't want to be in the bottom five, right? You need to be in the top five when you open Discord. Your community should be right there, and for your community to be right there, you need to be providing value to your contributors. So. Absolutely yeah. great tips. Now, in terms of skill, okay, you've built the skill up over the past many months. What are some skills for potential the community executives, community managers that they can pick up? Um, skills, one is onboard your community, right? Um, if your onboarding is messed up, then they wouldn't want to stay. So onboard them, I'd say, as a, on a one-on-one basis, get on a call with them. Uh, probably talk to them about what do you like, what do they like about your product? How has the product helped you? Um, if it's a DAO, then maybe ask them, um, what do you like about our mission? Like, how has this mission been a part of your um, journey and just like in your life? Secondly, don't do a lot of bounties because as I've mentioned uh, many times in this conversation, bounties, if people come for bounties, they're going to stay for bounties. Once you stop doing bounties, they're going to leave. So you need to... Find a way, this would, this is. I think this is probably the hardest process, is finding a way to provide value without just the monetary kind of benefit. Even a good friend of mine, Raj Karya, he also mentioned the same thing, that if people are there in a community for only the monetary benefits, they're not going to stick for long. So sit with your founders, sit with your core team and figure out what is the one or a few value propositions that you can add uh, that makes them want to stay for like as long as possible. Um, and third is yeah just like have fun with your community man you you need to be conducting events left and right um, and also don't go super hard on yourself for not getting um, the right amount of people I know sometimes you might do like a spaces or um, a discord event and you might get like 5 or 10 people joining that's completely fine it takes time I remember at layer 3 in the beginning like in the early days we used to get like 20 people it fell down to like 5 people but now if you join our community calls on layer 3 um, there are probably like 100 to 200 plus people so trust me trust the process it's going to take a lot of time but just you just got to be at it so final last one is uh, Discord what do you feel Discord as a skill uh, is it important for people to learn and uh, what, what, how, how valuable is being like a good Discord uh, technical person uh, for this space um, because it, I, I thought I think you are in, you are kind of a Discord expert too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So um, Discord is important, but I wouldn't give that the highest importance. Uh, there are people you could build like a smaller team that are super good at Discord, but community is not only Discord, right? It's um, a much larger thing, which does not you can't limit yourself just to Discord. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of it. Awesome. Sounds good to me. Uh, anything else you want to add? Uh, Nothing, I just check out crowd.co. If you need any community help, any content help, you know, I'm the man. <laughs> yes, yes. Also, subscribe to Salman. It's a oh, yes, of course. I'm sure you're already subscribed, but if you're not, then please do. Thank please. you. Awesome, bro. Thank you, man.